Hi there, everybody. This is Tenacious Earl, and this is another tournament on the 2019 Tenacious Golf Tour. This is the second season. Uh, this is going to be tournament four of that season, the 2019 Aloha Tournament of Champions. Uh, before uh, I talk about that, I first want to mention that I have created a playlist uh, for this season. If you look on our channel here and look under playlists, you'll see it there. Uh, wanted to give anybody a chance who hasn't watched any of the previous tournament action, you can go in there and take a look. Um, and you can play through it from the beginning, or you can pick up where you left off, or you can just get a feel for it in any of them if you want. Um, yeah, so this tournament here, it's a special field, which it's only champions. So from the previous Hawaiian tournament, which wasn't a tournament of champions because I only had played one tournament before that. Uh, from that point until now, I'm taking all of the guys that have won a tournament, and they're going to get to play in it at 17. Um, actually, I've just made a, I've made a decision. I'm going to make it 18 because Adam Trenchard never got to play in a tournament of champions. He's going to be added. He won the first tournament, which was at Silverado. But since he never got to play in a tournament of champions... I'm going to bring him in here anyway, so I'm going to make that executive decision. But this is a tournament of champions, so it's a small field, only going to be 18. We can't. Everybody's going to play four rounds in this tournament, just like on the PGA Tour. So rather than have a, um, a cut, we're going to just do the third round simulation, kind of like we did with the Malaysian Open. We're going to go straight to the third round, set up the scores, heading into the final round, and see who we're going to be seeing on the telecast. That's going to be right after I'm going to put up an update of our standings here on the Tenacious Golf Tour, both the money winners and the point standings. They're dominated right now by Dustin Emmerich. He's won two of the three tournaments. Again, I warned you, if you haven't seen any of that stuff, you should have already gone back and decided to take a look at things. But at this point, it's too late. You've already heard, but in any regard, I'm going to put up the standings for you to see what the other positions look like, see where your favorite golfer is. And when we get back, we will get to the third round simulation of the 2019 Aloha Tournament of Champions from Kapalua. It's the Palman Orchid Golf Club, uh, Palman Orchid Golf Club, excuse me. It models after Kapalua, Kapalua Plantation. I can't speak today. But uh, when we get back, we will see that third round simulation and get ready for the final. Uh, in the next day or so. So, see you then. Okay, so this is your field for the Aloha Tournament of Champions. I'll go through and describe, this is sort of a, a bit of a, a retrospective of the previous season, since uh, we, I don't, well I don't have, I'm not going to put a list up for you, I'm just going to show you the cards and mention what these guys did. Trenchard, Adam Trenchard, he won the first tournament of the Tenacious Golf Tour in its existence. It was the Silverado Open uh, from Napa Valley. And then um, we had the Hawaiian Challenge, which was taken by Nishiki Kawahara. Uh, rather, uh, probably our, well, one of our biggest upsets of the season. Uh, 
relative back marker, but he came through in a big way in that tournament. Then we went to Torrey Pines, and Enrique Magalenas uh, came through with that victory, his only tournament victory of the season. Then Will Janis, uh, they went up to the uh, Monterey Peninsula, and he took uh, the, uh, what do we call that, the NorCal Pro-Am. So, uh, Feather in His Cap, another uh, rather... Uh, and actually, that was our first qualifier, maybe our only qualifier to ever make, or ever win a tournament. He ended up making the, he, that's how he has his exemption. He'll have an exemption for a couple more years. So Greer, Greer Copeland III then uh, took care of business at Sunset Canyon in the Tinseltown Open, which is Riviera, if you aren't familiar. Um, so all those guys were single winners. Then you had uh, Trent McAdams, uh, well, actually, I think he's also a single winner. So uh, he won the Copperhead, which is in Florida. We're going to have extra tournaments this year with additional we're beefing up the early part of the schedule a little bit more to try to get some of these tournaments that go on ahead of the Masterful, which the Masterful was the first major after that, and that was won by Yun Lee Song in row two. Uh, he won three tournaments in a span of seven weeks. Uh, he also won the Sawgrass Championship, so he won the the Masterful, a major, and then a semi-major, which was the Sawgrass Championship. Then he also won Blues Belt at uh, Southern Breeze, so uh, a good season for Yun. Then uh, Gareth Leonard, um, he, he also only won a single tournament, uh, but he won the Coastal Heritage. Uh, which is in South Carolina. Then Westinghouse uh, won at Alamo Oaks for the uh, Lone Star Open. Dave Samanowicz Jr. Uh, was the winner in uh, at Colonial. That was a that's a big invitational, and he was happy to have picked up a nice paycheck there. So then Lee Song again won, and then then uh, four seasons open. Uh, that was a prelude to uh, uh, a, a couple, another vic, another two victories for this guy, Heath Somers. Uh, he had a great year on tour. He ended up with three victories as well. We'll talk more about that later. Then, then came the Blues Belt, and then finally the uh, the American Open. Uh, and where is? Car oh, yeah, right here. Looking right at it. Carson Rodell was the winner. Uh, he also won a second tournament, uh, but that was his... Uh, uh, that was a crowning achievement, a major for him, Carson Rodell. Uh, American Open, that was at uh, Shin well, Founders Golf Club, Shinnecock Hills. And then we had two before the British. Uh, it was uh, TPC... Connecticut River, which was Gil Granbury, his his only crown of the season. And then you had two in a row from Dustin Emmerich. He won uh, the Appalachian Hootenanny at uh, Springhouse, which is Greenbrier, uh, and that's in West Virginia. And then he also won his home tournament, uh, Championship of the UK. Uh, he is, being British and all, that was the great achievement. That was at Carnoustie. We used a, a user-created uh, card set for that course. And uh, thanks again to uh, Minnesota Golf, I think is what, uh, Back to Minnesota. I think that's, the name. that's, uh, that's his website, backtominnesota.com. I, I believe his name is David, but he uh, created that uh, card set and it worked well and worked out for Dustin uh, as it has for two of the first three tournaments here on the new tour. Uh, Hudspeth uh, followed the second win of Somers. Somers won at uh, Firestone, or Rubber City, if that's what you want to call it. Then Hudspeth followed up that at uh, Avian Wood for the Carolina Open, which came, brought us to our Tenacious Pro Showcase, which is the PGA Championship equivalent. Todd Ahrens earned his number one priority on the tour with that victory another uh 
Hud Smith and Aaron's were both kind of back marker. Uh, actually, the, these last few were. So um, I'll also talk about maybe one name or two names you won't see here that uh, are unfortunate. But so after Aaron's, Z Gary Zikowski uh, won in Colorado in the first uh, playoff uh, round uh, at uh, Country Club at Mile High. Then they went to Great Woods in uh, Massachusetts for the New England Playoff Classic. That was taken by Rodell, his second win. And then the first win for Danny Gallatin at Potomac. Uh, well, it's Federal Country Club. I'm still trying to decide if I'm going to buy a new set and change that from Federal to uh, Avenal. I might do Avenal <coughs> for the new season. It's still to be determined. It's uh, penciled in at the moment. And uh, finally, East Lake, uh, which uh, I forget what the actual name of it is in uh, History Maker, but um, maybe Peach something or other, because it's uh, in Georgia. That was Heath Somers. He got his championship there. So three wins for him, three wins for Lee Song. We'll see if they can get a fourth. Or if that, and that would tie Emmerich, because Emmerich now has four wins on the TGT in total, counting the two seasons. And, um, all right, so let's see. I'm going to get back to, I'm going to change my screen here. And uh, let's, let's get these all gathered up. So I'm going to try and do this in a rather random fashion here if I can and then shuffle them some more and we're going to do the third round so I could probably do draw with these because I don't have any of the custom cards which are always a little bit of a pain in the butt uh, because it seems like they don't it seems like when you do choices and stuff from them it's not very randomized okay so I did I'll do another three cuts to three okay and now I'm going to I'm gonna three so there's one pass Two passes and now two more. Let's roll this. We've got eight piles. So 11, 8, 9, 10, 11. We're going to put the first card right there. And we've got seven now. So 7, 8, 9, 10. We'll put one right here. So that's going to be our piles. Let me try and straighten them up here just a tad. Just trying to make it as legitimate as possible here. And I need to put these cards out, so bear with me for a moment. So this should work pretty similarly with these guys. But I do think I will roll the D20 for randomization purposes. Let's see, I can pull this down here to try and create some room closer to the cards. So... Bear with me, I'm trying to get the best utilization of my screen here. Okay, you, you're not going to be able to see the lower. Uh, you'll be able to see most of it there. If I do this, then I really think you will. Okay. All right, so we need two dice here. Also need to get out one of my worksheets. I also have to find my other worksheet and my clipboard. I left them upstairs, so. So, um, yeah, I was actually 
sniffing around trying to figure out what uh, the target score was and other things and uh, two things one uh, Gil Granbury lost in a playoff to Kawahara at this tournament uh, the previous year so he will be hoping to be able to uh, you know, exercise the demons or whatever you want to call it from his previous failure to defeat Kawahara the other thing is I want I was going to mention a couple of well, at least one guy who isn't in this tournament that's a big name, and that's a Martin Van Dyke. He did not win, and so in in the previous season, we'll see if he gets a victory in this season. But he isn't playing here. So when you get the, the target score, and it's a five and a dot, and now I've got to find my cheater here to, that has my. Where did I put the thing? I might have put it in this guy. Ah, uh, yeah, it's five and a dot. Subtract four from it. So it's going to be a lower score. It's going to play easier this time. So subtract four. That will be 267. And let me see. Two, uh, a set part 73. And four, 292 minus 267. It's 25 under par. That's a pretty good, pretty good clip for these guys, but they can do it. All right. So let's give it a whirl. So we're going to go with the third round simulation. And we're going to start with pile one here. And with the completing the third round list. So let's give it a whirl. 14. Top golfer contends with A. Others finish with C, so the top out of these two, Samanowicz Jr. and Will Janis. Wow, Samanowicz gets lucky there. He will contend with A, and Will Janis will finish with C. Okay, it's the first pile. The second pile, 24. Top golfer contends with A with a perk. Got to cross out a couple of things here. Okay. Top golfer contends with A. Others finish with C+. So it's going to be Aaron's or Gareth Leonard is going to go there in A with Samanowitz. And Aaron's will finish at C+. So we'll have to roll on the perk after the round after this is all over next pile 55 all golfers contend with b so that's going to be westinghouse zakowski and summers are all going to be at b 22 top golfer gets a it's lee song and gallatin so a and he will get a perk. So Yun Lee Song and then the other con others contend with B. So he'll go in that pile as well. Uh, Gallatin will. So we've got potentially six so far out of the 18 in the top in the, the going to be uh, contending. So four more piles left. 23. Draw golfer contends with uh, B, A. The others contend with B plus. So we're gonna I'm gonna take these guys. There's two. There are definitely two cards here. I'm gonna put them just like this. And if it's a dot, it's yeah, it's the first one. If it's a no, it's the second one. So we're gonna roll it up here. So it's gonna be the second one goes to A, and it's Enrique Magalenas. The other one, John Hudspeth, goes to B plus. So. All right, next pile. 44, all golfers contend with B+. Trenchard, Dustin Emmerich, Greer Copeland III, B+. So this is, the rolls are kind of mucking things up a little bit here. 12. Top golfer contends with A+, plus, others finish with B-. So, it's either Gil Granbury, 
for Carson Riddell. Gil Granbury is going to be right at the top. And um, let me see. I feel like Magalanes got a... No, no, he didn't. Wait, let me see. I'm trying to think. Yeah, he did. It was... Uh... Okay, and Rodell, the 12, finishes with B-, minus. so right there. So we've got five here. We've got a few here. Um, so we need 12 in reality. And so we have one more pile to go. And that's another 44. So these guys are both going to go. Kawahara and Trent McAdams are going to go B+. Plus. So let's... Let's see how this works out here. Um, okay. So, not too many that are going to be low. <laughs> Sometimes it doesn't it doesn't work out like uh, it's uh, intended to. Sometimes you get rolls that uh, pull off this kind of thing, but that's okay. I know I say that's okay a lot, but. It is, okay. Um, okay. <laughs> so, it's between 263 and 267. So that is 197 would be the top score for the A+. Plus. So let's go 73 times 3 minus 197. 22 under par. So that will set up our scoreboard part of things here. Okay. We'll start with that and then we'll have to see how far else we have to go after that. So we, we start with Granbury. A dot means minus 22. A not means minus 21. And it's a dot. So he will be at minus 22 to start his final round. So Samanowicz Jr. is going to be at minus 19. Garrett Leonard, minus 19. Young Lee Song, minus 20. Magalanes, minus 20. So right there's five. We need seven more to go. So let's take a look at B plus here. How many are in this guy? One, two, three, four, five, six only. And we're going to take one from B probably. So <coughs> so we will need uh, minus 18, minus 17 for this pile here. We might as well get 16 and 15 out while we're at it, right? And I'm going to have to figure out how to get that one other one. So let's start from the bottom. It'll be Hudspeth. It'll be at 17. It'll be then Trenchard. Minus 17. Next up, Emmerich. Minus 17. And then Copeland the third. Also minus 17. We're going off the page here. Trent McAdams, 18. Kavahara, 17. So a bunch of guys at minus 17. Okay, so now I'm going to roll one more time on this. If it's a dot, we're going to take our final goal for, let's make sure, it's 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. If it's a dot, the final golfer will be the top. If it's a blank it will be the draw it'll be the top so is it Gallatin no Westinghouse 2a is better than him Zukowski 3b Heath Summers is gonna go and now we roll on this again for him we'll put him at minus 16 so let's see that puts him all, almost out of contention to begin now so the rest of these guys here Westinghouse Zukowski and Gallatin they are going to be in the potential emerging contender position. So that's where that will stand. 
this is going to be where the final round starts. And give me one moment and I will move this so we have a little bit better view of it. And so here we are. This is the way that they shake out on the cards. Um, so we do still have a couple orders of business. We have three guys that need checked for their tournament perk and issues. So I'm going to do that in the way that I usually do, which involves rolling four dice. So it'll be Gareth Leonard first. I'm not going to explain it this time too much. Although the white will mean it's a sponsor issue, and then the two is going to be gain the storm equality. So it's on the black die. White, then black, then green. So Gareth Leonard will be stormy. And I don't think it's for the whole round. He could go sunny if he makes a putt after being stormy. Yun Lee Song. So he goes three and three. Three is media. And then the other three is start the die with, or start the round with two blue chips. So that's a good, so I went, again, white, black, green and green was two that's the number of that's the die if it matters finally it'll be enrique magallanes this will be three media six gain extra control so there is uh, one that he always will have i believe it's n the number four so he can always roll a four to get control regardless of what the hole says. So another uh, tweak to the rules that helps somebody. So a little, it's a little, little bravado after the media talks to him. And so now we are in a tropical climate, uh, Hawaii. And so we will roll two D sixes to see. This is January. So let's see. 45 will be normal conditions. <coughs> okay. And so this is how we will see things shaping up uh, when we get started with the fourth and final round. Uh, Gil Granbury with a two shot lead over Lee Song and Magaenis. And then Smanowicz Jr. and uh, Gareth Leonard are three behind. And um, eh, I'll wait to get the cards out for the course, but just wanted to uh, show the layout of the final, uh, how it's going to look. Uh, we'll put the dice box right here. And we will be ready to rock and roll with the finals. Although the light might need to be adjust it a little bit so you can see that box a little better so because I think once we get the dice in there it's gonna be a little dark you can't even see this guy which is a four 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 is there how about that so so Gil Granbury uh, is in excellent position to try and take care of business where he couldn't last year the uh, Aloha Tournament of Champions a little different but still the same state uh, same course and let's see if he can do that here, uh, trying to conquer Kapalua. And uh, although he does have Nishiki Kawahara five back, uh, you know, maybe, maybe if Kawahara can uh, make a charge, uh, you just never know. So uh, that's it for this. We will uh, see you soon with uh, the final round of this tournament and see if Dustin Emmerich, uh, from also from five back, if he can make his way into a third win in a row. Uh, he's got a long way to make back, but maybe he will. So until then, keep rolling your dice, and we will see you soon.